a former drug kingpin and business tycoon once dubbed the godfather of heroin by the U.S. government has died in his home in Myanmar's main city, a source close to the family said. Lo Xinghan died on Saturday in Yangon, the source who spoke on condition of anonymity because he did not have authorization to speak to the media, said on Sunday. The cause of death of Lo Xinghan, who is believed to be in his mid-70s, was not immediately known. Lo Xinghan's involvement in the drug trade began more than four decades ago. In exchange for heading a local militia set up by then-dictator Northeast Win in 1960 to help fight local communists in the region of Kokang. Lo Xinghan was given permission to engage in the trafficking of opium and heroin, said Bertel Lintner, author of The Golden Triangle Opium Trade, an overview. With one of the best armed militias in Myanmar, also known as Burma, he quickly became one of the region's most powerful drug kingpins. Thai police arrested Lo Xinghan in northern Thailand in 1973. He was handed over to the Burmese government and sentenced to death, commuted later to life in prison for treason. He was released in 1980 as part of a general amnesty, Lintner said. In 1992, Lo Xinghan and his son Stephen Law founded the conglomerate Asia World, allegedly as a front for their ongoing dealings in the drug trade, the author said. They quickly became two of Myanmar's biggest business tycoons, helping prop up the military junta, winning contracts to run ports, build highways and oversee airports. The U.S. Department of Treasury, dubbing Lo Xinghan the godfather of heroin put him on the financial sanctions list in 2008.